today we will discuss life saving devices this life saving devices they include defibrillators ventilators pacemakers all those devices which are helping in saving the life of a person so we will discuss cardiac defibrillators in this video the function of heart is to pump the blood throughout the body and it performs this function with the help of synchronized action of the heart muscle fibers the sa node that is sinoatrial node is responsible for spreading the action potential over the surface of the atria causing the two chambers of the heart to contract together and pump the blood into the ventricles with the help of the atrioventricular valves after some time the powerful ventricle muscles are synchronously activated to pump the blood through the pulmonary and systemic circulatory system so now if the, there are happens a condition in which the synchronization of the ventricle muscles to pump the blood to the pulmonary and systemic circulatory system is lost is known as fibrillation fibrillation can be of two types atrial fibrillation and ventricular fibrillation the fibrillation of atrial muscles is called as atrial fibrillation and the fibrillation of ventricles is called as ventricular fibrillation the atrial even with the atrial fibrillation the blood circulation can be maintained but not that efficiently ventricular fibrillation it is far more dangerous because if this happens this ventricular fibrillation if it occurs the person may get died within few minutes so we have seen one of the mechanical method for avoiding the fibrillation is that massaging of the heart which is carried out over the past few years but it is not that successful the most successful method of making defibrillation is use of giving an electric shock to the area of heart so the process in which an electronic device sends an electronic shock to heart to restore the normal rhythm of heart is called as defibrillation defibrillation can be done internally or externally for the defibrillation defibrillation different electrodes are used mostly the metal disc electrode of 3 to 5 cm long is used shocks can be delivered to the heart by the means of electrodes placed on the chest of the patient that is nothing but external defibrillation or the electrodes can be directly held against the heart when the chest is open that is internal defibrillation the instruments that administers the shock is called as defibrillator the waveforms shown in the figure they are nothing but this part it shows the ecg waveform during ventricular fibrillation and after the application of shock and restoring the normal rhythm of heart this kind of ecg normal ecg rhythm is observed the basic circuit diagram of dc defibrillator is shown in the figure it consists of two transformers t1 t2 the primary of transfer step up transformer is formed by the voltage from the auto transformer a diode rectifier is used over here then during the charging condition a capacitor is used over here during the charging condition the switch this vacuum tube type of voltage change over switch is at the position a the charging of capacitor is done now whenever the push button placed on the electrodes whenever it is pushed this vacuum type of high voltage change over switch it goes to the position b and this capacitor starts discharging through the inductor with the electrodes placed on the chest of the patient the duration of effective discharge is of 5 millisecond the peak value of current is nearly 20 amperes this inductor is used to shape the wave in order to eliminate the sharp and undesirable current spike going through the electrode to the patient's heart muscles thank you